Any ID? Oh, thought they've really worked him over, haven't they? Nathan Buckley, White Door Security. Mm. Yeah, the morning shift found him here at about six o'clock. The doors to the club were unlocked and they got to the uh, safe using some oxy gear. Yep. Surveillance tape, Jack. Oh, right. Hey, Alex, want to check it out inside? Yeah, yeah, hey, Jack, if you'd robbed this place and you had a guard chasing you, would you head for the pier? No, I wouldn't. Unless I had a boat. Mm -hmm. Ready? On you, boys. He's a big one. So how much money did the bad guys lose? Uh, about three and a half grand. The safe was pretty low. There were just leftovers from a payroll delivery from a bank. Sequentially numbered notes, though. OK, who's got the jappers? <laughs> hey! All right, let's have a look. Now, the Mortlake Rowing Club, now, that was robbed about a week ago. Yeah. The guys that did that job were inside when it was closed to. Right. Maybe this is the same crew. Yeah. So you get anything on the oxy gear? Yeah, we've got the serial number. Helen's looking at it now. Check this out. Look at this. What are they doing? They're robbing here or are they partying? Hey, you've got a couple of hoons. No, no, wrestling fans. That's Mr. Socko. What, what do you mean? Yeah, the big guys on steroids. That oh, yeah, come on, bring it on. What do you got? No, no, no. There's, this, on, there's a on. signature move that a wrestler by the name of Mankind. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, give it a run. Right in. I can't have to show you this, mate. <laughs> so grab this guy like this, right? Shock on his hand, and he jams <laughs> it down his okay, shirt like that. I can't know. Yeah, see what you mean. Yeah, the mandible claw. All right, so Mr. Sock, yeah? No, Mr. Socker. Right. Hmm. Okay, then, Mr. Socker. Your days are numbered. Oh, Wait, Helen, that's and he worked in the oxy gear. You know that? Yes, uh, belongs to Moses Ali, construction's proprietor. Moses Ali. This guy doesn't have, have a boat for it, right? Yes, he does, as a matter of fact, but no, he hasn't reported it missing. Okay, let's go and have a word of this bloke, right? Hey, uh, Victoria, what are you doing here? Can I talk to you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, sorry, Jack, this is my sister. Oh, here, I'll just be one minute, one minute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You alright? Yeah, I'm on fire. Sure? What's, what's wrong? What's happened? Look, I really need to talk to you about Dylan. Dylan. Um, Dylan. Dylan's my boyfriend. Hello. Right. 
So uh, that's why you've come here to talk about your boyfriend. Is, is that it? What do you mean, that's it? Well, Victoria, I am at work. You should be at school. This is not the time. Oh, yeah, place but it's talking... drop everything when you have one of your Hey, 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 I'm not going to justify myself to you. You are 14 years old. Wait, uh, I... come on. Yeah, no, I'll be. I'll be... Sorry, Jacko. Oh. I'll meet you in, uh, in the car park. Huh? Come here. Come here. Donna? Yeah. This is my sister, Victoria. Hi. Would you mind calling her a cab? She needs to get back to school ASAP. OK, I'll talk to you later. Ah. See, I told you, it's locked. Do you want to open it then, Mr. Ali? Believe me, you're wasting your time. Yeah, right. What's the matter, something missing? The oxy gear was there. Is this your boat, sir? Where were you last night, Mr. Ali? I came back from job, tied up the boat, look at the shed. I never went out, not once. And how come your oxy gear ends up at the Manly Skiff Club? And how the hell do I know? I don't know, mate. Maybe they took the spare keys. Oh, yeah. Just love a crook he puts back after themselves. You know, it makes our life so easy. I was here all night. Got anyone to confirm that? And divorced. And Tony was out all night. Who's Tony? My son. Does anyone else have access to the boat, sir? Tony. Nice jet ski, mate. Look about 12 grand new, aren't they? Where'd you get the money? Second hand. Sold my guitar. Oh, yeah, must have been a bloody good guitar. Where'd you get the rest? I've been serving up. What's it to you anyhow? My name's Detective Jack Christie, and this is Detective Hey, hey, Sinclair, hey, mate. what's funny? Where were you last night? Mate's place. What were you doing? Watch videos. All right, this mate of yours, mate. Has he got an address? Got a Bloody name? Your is he? business, mate. Watch your mouth. Listen to me, Tony. A bloke was murdered last night, right? And two kids did it. You're saying I did it? I don't know, mate, did you? No. Tell us your mate's name. Come on, tell. I mean, you can't. 38 Loftus Road. How'd you get the black eye? Down the youth club. I was boxing. Good night, mate. Hey, Freak! Freak! Look at him! Look at him! Give yourself room. Room. Freak! Freak! Keep your hands up, Pete. You're dropping your hands. Come on. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, settle. Thanks, mate. Settle. Pete, you gotta focus, all right? Focus? There's no point trying to stare him down if he's, he's just knocking the shit out of you, right? It's not loud. It's not loud. That's liniment, you know? It's fantastic. You would have done a bit of boss at the old academy. Get on you, No, 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 it's too dangerous. What have I got guns for? Okay. G'day, mate, help you? Hi. Hi, oh, yeah. Detective Christian Sinclair, Sydney Water Police. <clears throat> yeah, we're looking for a, a kid called Amir Khan. Oh, what do you want with me? Uh, well, we'd rather speak to him, if you don't mind. He wasn't at home, is he here? Well, look, my name's Martin Lamb. I work with community services. Uh, I spend three days a week with these kids. If there's a problem, I, well, I'd like to know. Well, we're investigating a robbery and a murder. We're just after Khan's whereabouts last night. Amir! Office. What time did Tony Ali come over to your place? I don't know. Oh, yes, mate. Was it early? Was it late? No, I don't answer. Early. Right. What time did he leave? I don't know. I'll ask you again, mate. What time did he leave? When I said, I don't know. Wanna go? See you later. Yeah, Mia's parents were killed in Beirut. Oh. They came out here, met Tony, they've been, you know, mates ever since. I mean, they've got attitude, but they're not liars, you know what I mean? Yeah. These kids trust me. They... I don't judge them, they don't bullshit me. You know okay, what I mean? well, look, if they're all so squeaky clean, why do they need you? I yet? never said they were squeaky. Look, they've got problems, but they're not killers, all right? Thanks. See ya. Hey, settle down, what's going on? Money from last night, the serial numbers check out. Well, yeah, these lockers are communal, so anyone could have put it there, right? It'll take a while to interview all these people. Yeah, I know. 
Al, do you want to take Martin? Oh, yeah. I think he likes your smile. You know? How's that go? Yeah. Kids never fail to disappoint you. They think values are, are good deals in the trading post. So uh, why do you do it? I don't know. I don't believe anyone's irredeemable. It's like boxing. You know, you can be pissing blood in the last round and you can still come back. How can I help you? Um, yeah, we need a, need a list of all the kids that use this place. Yep. Yep. And uh, also, you know, if we can uh, get some of these kids to speak to us, that'd be good. We'll be a bit discreet. Well, you know that guy I was training when you came in, Pete Savage? Mm -hmm. He's one of my success stories, so you could talk to him. Okay. Wouldn't do it here. All right, that, um, you could just bring him into the station. It'd be fine. All right. Okay. All right, leave it to it. <clears throat> See ya. See ya. Mia's a mate of Tony Alley, so you know about the keys in Tony's backyard. St. Clair. Hello, Mother. No, I haven't spoken to Victoria. Hey, look, the school's just out, you know. She's probably with her friends. <clears throat> oh, get... Hey, Alex. Alex, the car's here. No, I, I can't speak right now. I'm working, OK? Look, she's going to be fine. Just trust me on this, all right? Goodbye. Hey, Sinclair, I've got a really good idea. Yeah, what? Is that your folks? Is that your mum? Yeah. OK, why don't we go up and see your mum and dad? I can get to meet them. Then we all yeah, go to a Chinese restaurant. I want to go and see my mum and we do dad. some karaoke singing. No, bugger Shut the case. Up. I'd love to meet your mum. She like you? <laughs> oh, Donna, you know that uh, taxi you ordered for my sister? Could you check that it, it took us straight to school and nowhere else? Would you mind, please? Yeah, OK. I think I'm a babysitter. Don't say it. Hey, Don't say it. Alex, Don't want to hear. I'm not saying anything, say Alex. It. I'm a black hole. No sound or light will come out of any part of my body. Good. Detectives, a couple of gentlemen here to see you. Thanks, Helen. Oh, Mr. Lamb, thanks for coming in so quickly. Martin. Martin. Peter Savage. Uh, Peter Savage. Hey. G'day. I'll just get you a seat. Uh, you want to take here, a seat, yeah, guys? I'm just going to have all of this uh, tape. Check this. Stop the tape. What is it? That's, uh, Mr. Socko. That's the wrestling thing, yeah, the... Yeah, mandible claw. It's this move that a wrestler called Mankind does. So how many boys down at the club are into wrestling? Heaps, but most of them like Stone Cold. Not many go for Mankind. Any that do? Yeah, Amir Khan does. Alex? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on, excuse me one second, guys. Sorry. Oh, Jack, here. Thanks. Um, we won't just go back. How'd you go? Your sister didn't go back to school. You're kidding. I spoke to the driver. He said he dropped her off at Manly. Manly? What? Well, why did you drop her off at Manly? I don't what, know. What? Look, Alex, I put her in that cab oh. myself and I told him to take no, her back to you school. Know, no, okay, Donna, I know it's not your fault. It's, oh, did, he, look, did he say she met one of her friends? Did he drop her off? Look, did, did she find her boyfriend? No. She's got a boyfriend, you see. Dylan. No, he didn't notice. He just dropped her off and left. Sorry. Uh, thanks, Donna. Al? Yeah. Uh, Miss Lamb thinks there's another boy that we should talk to. Yeah, yeah Owen Bradley is Pete's best mate. He knows all the boys. He might know something. Excellent. Excellent. Show you. See ya. The money was in the locker. Yeah, that's right. Stupid place to put it. Yeah. That must have happened sometime this morning. Do you know anyone that would have had an access to the youth centre? Uh, there's, um, Mr. Lamb. Uh, Mr. Lamb? I take it you don't approve of Martin Lamb. I don't approve of any man his age running around in a pair of shorts teaching children to bash each other. Fair enough. Listen, Owen, what we need to know is whether you might know someone who had access to that youth centre that shouldn't have. Dunno. Well, one of the cleaners lost their keys recently. They were probably stolen. Mum, well, you know I don't like you going there. Because some of those boys belong in jail. What about the one you told me about? What one? Well, you know, the one with the money. Owen came home last week. He said one of the boys there was carrying a lot of cash on him. He said he was going to buy one of those, uh, oh, what was it, Owen? A jet ski. Yes. Yeah, who was it, mate? It's Tony Ali. Yeah? 
You mind if we see Tony's room, Mr. Ali? You have no right to be here. This is private property. That's what this is for, Mr. Ali. It's a warrant. Go on, have a look. Thank You'll you. find nothing. There you go. Go on, you bastards. Destroy everything. Break everything. When you finish, I'm going to have you up for harassment. Come on, destroy. Mr. Ali. What's this? Where did it come from? He told you. He sold his guitar. To who? How the hell should I know? Ah, what's this? Ah. To this, Mr. Ali. It's not Tony. This is dope. This is it's marijuana, Mr. Ali. I think I better check the other rooms. I need to talk to your son, Mr. Ali. Tony! 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 Yeah, you will be a dick! Come here! Come here! Come here! Hey, Tony, where'd you get this, mate? Whoa! Tony! Hey, Moses, Tony! out the hey. way! Get out the way! Come back here, Come Tony! On, Tony! Listen, I need the NEMI. DKG to police launch Nemesis. Can you please hold for questioning the driver of a Yamaha jet ski Virgo LADS28N travelling west towards Concord? Yeah, copy that, Donna. We're altering course to intercept now. What were you doing? You're trawling for prawns. You let a murder suspect go right by you. A jet ski's a little faster and more manoeuvrable than the nemesis, Jack. Oh, I think the old girl can still do 35 knots. Uh, the old girl's a dinosaur. It, it runs right, right by around you. the nemesis, sir. We had no chance in the world of stopping it. Have you have a report to finish, Sykes? What about you, smiling guy? Speedy Gonzalez, where were you? I was in the room looking at the wardrobes. Nobody's worked. All right, no, all right. Listen, the serial numbers match. This is Cash from the first robbery, the Mortlake Rowing Club. Is that him? Yeah, yeah, great hair, dude. We're going to have to get on to this, uh, this Amir. He's going to lead us to Tony. Maybe. Well, except we can't find him. Yeah, right. There's Amir can't. I mean, his right. flatmates haven't seen him since yesterday. All right. Well, I'll get a description. I'll get a circulation out. What's up his? I don't know. No, look, she'll turn up. Yeah, look, I know, I know. I should have told you she was here, but the, no, the re... Because I had to work. Because I... Mum, that, that is not fair. That... OK, fine. I have to go. Yep. Bye. What's up? Oh. Mum says it's my fault, and it is. It's my fault. It's, no, you know, no, I hey, am just hey, such an idiot. Hey, hey, it's not your fault, all right? Look, if you want some time off, just put your hand no, up. No, no, I've got to... I, I, I... Hey, this reporter can wait. Don't worry. Look, she'll turn up when she's hungry. That's the way it goes. Oh, i got to get out there and find her. I really... I have to... Thank you. 
street anywhere you're no, sure. Sorry, can't help you. You can get down, take another look. Just, um, uh, yeah. Well, I got the local cops giving a lookout. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else I can do. Nothing. You know, if I just taken more time just to just to talk to him. You know? But if you want to spend some time with your parents, oh, you no, no way. I'd just climb the walls. No. So, uh, no sign of Amir or Tony, huh? No, I don't think they're going to surface for a while. I think Amir's is still our best bet. Okay, so we got a kid who's got no family to run to, right? So where does he go? Someone to someone he can trust, huh? <sighs> someone he can trust. Yeah. Yeah, well, Amir came here last night. He said you blokes were after. Why him. didn't you call us, Mr. Lamb? Do you realise what hindering a police investigation means? I'll oh, get out of it. I tried to tell him to hand himself in. I tried all night, he wouldn't listen to me. You better wait here. Mia? Vic Khan? What's this Charged shot? with suspicion of robbery and the murder of Nathan Stone. Hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 son of a bitch! You've got to sort it out. Hey, I better do it! You cannot oblige the sale to do anything. Oh, but only sorry. something you choose to say may be used in evidence. Do you understand? Why are you dogging on me out of here, son of a bitch? Don't touch me! Oh, please. Bitch. You right, You all right? Oh. I hope you're right. Same. See this, mate? We found this at your mate Tony Ellie's place. It's the money from what Lake Rowing Club. You were there, mate. You and Tony were there last Thursday. Yesterday, Tuesday, you knocked over the Manly Skiff Club, right? We know it was you, mate. We got you on tape with all that wrestling bullshit. So, you know, we got you, mate. We know it was you. Amir, you talked to Tony last night, didn't you? Hmm? And he told you that we were looking for you, and that's when you went to see Martin, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I, I couldn't hear that. Didn't hear me? No. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. Terribly sorry. Oh, he closed up like a clam. I don't know how much we'll get out of him. Oh, you know, you put a clam in boiling water, they open up quick smart. Yeah, sometimes the bad ones never do. Excuse me. Yeah, I've got it. I'll be right there. Oh, 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 sorry. sorry. What's he in such a hurry for? The kid's being found in the water at Middle Harbour. Oh, Helen, can you touch it? I on my mobile. Gavin! Matthew, wait, wait, wait. I'm coming with you.
Ali. Jack, I'm losing it, mate. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I, I thought that was her. Certain of it. Do you mind if I um head off to my mum's and just wait for Vic? No, 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 no. Really? No problems. Drop care. Thank you. Oh, you know he was bashed, just like the guard. Okay. My son was a good boy. He was a good boy, Mr. Ali. He was a good boy! We usually ask a family member to come down and identify the body. It's just a formality, it's not a requirement. All right. I'll get it, Ty. It, it's not necessary, Mr. Ali. I want to look good for Tom. Hey, Em. Yeah? Is that Alex's sister? Yep. That's our sister. Better give Alex a call then. Yeah, St. Clair. Hi, Alex. It's Emma Woods. Yeah, Woods, what do you got? Listen, we've found Victoria. She's at Wollamaloo Bay. It's okay, Alex. <sighs> Alex, did you hear me? We found Victoria and she's fine. Alex? Yeah, I got that, Woodsy. Thank you so much. That's that's great. Okay, great. <sighs> oh. Hey, we all wag. I used to wag double English all the time. Hence why my spelling's probably so bad. Victoria! <sighs> You're right? So glad you're safe. You sure you're all right? I'm fine. I rang Mum and Dad. I told them you're all right. We found you. And where have you been? Why didn't you call? Well, you know how I wanted to talk to you yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Dylan. Yeah. Well, his parents have gone away for a week. Is that where you were? You slept with him. Oh, Victoria! That, oh, it was my idea. I practically had to rape him. Right. Okay. We used a condom. It's not as if I'm pregnant or anything. You just can't tell Mum and Dad, please. I'm gonna tell Mum and Dad. Come here. Oh, uh, next time you call me, all right? And next time I'm gonna listen, all right? Mm -hmm. Tony's dead? He was found at the bottom of the cliff. He was beaten to death somewhere else, taken to the cliff and thrown over. Where were you last night, Amir? Why did you go and see Martin Lamb and why did he tell you to turn yourself in? I'll tell you why, mate. I got you and Ali on video at the skip club, mate. And I got two murders <laughs> no, here that I'm damn sure were committed by the same bloke. You saw Tony Ali last night Tony. and he was going to give himself in. Then you beat the crap out of him. No, it's not the brother to me, man. No, it's going to happen. You think I'll kill my own brother? I think I'll raise a hand on him! It's my blood! I have no accept him! You think I'll kill him? I'm like an animal! What do you think I am? This kid didn't do it. No way. He's innocent. Now, look at this guy. Hold it there, right? Okay, he's right handed. Okay? Now, Amir Khan is a southpaw. He hit me with a left. Well, maybe this is Tony Ali. Yeah, but Amir Khan is supposed to be the one who's into this Mr. Socko bullshit. And if it's not Tony Ali, then how come the stolen money ends up in Tony Ali's room? Huh? You all 
right, mate? Got a cup of tea? Right, we want to find out who Tony Alley sold his guitar to. And that way you might help your mate clear his name. Right. Owen Bradley. <clears throat> who? Owen Bradley. And you witnessed this, did you, Amir? No. But Martin did. Yeah, no, Tony had the guitar here and uh, Owen came in, paid him cash and he took it home. Why? What's, uh, what's the problem? Well, it was paid for by stolen money that we found in Tony Alley's bedroom. You joke. Martin, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Tony Alley's dead. Get out of it. What are you talking about? He was beaten to death and chucked off middle head. Probably by those two guys in that video that we showed you. I'd say one of them's this, this Owen Bradley, right? And I'll bet my badge that the other bloke is this golden boy of yours, this Peter Savage. That's bullshit. He's a good kid. He's been over to my house for, for dinner. He's, he sent me a Christmas card for Christ's sakes. What are you saying? He's that killer? Well, let's just hope the son Bradley's loyal to Peter Savage as you are. Hi, ma'am. We're here to see Owen. I don't see how Owen can help you anymore. Owen! Good day, Owen. Nice guitar. Mortal Lake Rowing Club last Thursday. Manly Skiff Club early yesterday morning. Where were you? Don't say anything, Owen. Is my son under arrest? Not yet. No. Mrs. Bradley, yourself and Owen are here voluntarily. We appreciate that. But we have enough evidence to charge your son with murder. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Owen? You've been a busy boy, haven't you, mate? Bit silly buying the guitar with stolen money. We should get the prince back on the nose. Oh, stop it. He's 15, for Christ's sake. It wasn't Owen. It couldn't have been. It's not true. Owen, tell them it's not true. Tell them, Owen, tell them it's not true. Shut, Shut up, up, Mum. Get her out of here. I don't want her to hear. You sure? Owen. Mrs. Bradley, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the room, please. Owen. Don't worry, we'll get a dog, Blake. It's my idea to frame him here. I kept on doing that stupid Mr. Soccer thing. So Peter and I decided to give the cameras a show at the skiff club. So why'd you kill the guard? Because he pointed the gun at me. What about Tony Ali? He sussed out I gave him some stolen money for the guitar. So he came looking for me last night, talking like a fool. So Peter and I decided to shut the dumb log up. So where's Peter Savage now? He's at work. A job at a server on Pittwater Road. The guard was hit 15 times. Tony Ali. More than 20. They were both dead. But you just kept pounding away. Why? It felt good. I come out to Leroy Point. Martin Savage told Peter Lamb he'd meet him there half an hour ago. What would you know, eh? What would you know? You were just a stupid, poor, 
social worker! You don't even own your own car! Thanks for that. It's my turn now. I'm here, Khan, and anyone else you've screwed. This one's for me. This one's for me. Oh, yeah. That poor, dumb, social worker. Lamb, did you ask Peter Savage to meet you on top of Leroy Point? Yeah. For what reason? I wanted to kill him. And that was your intention? Yeah. There was no doubt that that's what you intended to do? No. Mr. Lamb. You've just confessed to premeditated murder. Do you understand that? Yeah. Why did you kill Peter Savage? Would you like me to repeat the question? Peter is irredeemable. He was... I couldn't bring him back. Hi. Hey. I thought you'd be with your sister at your parents. Oh, no, way too much stress there. Decided to come in here and finish this. Mm. Hey, uh, I saw the confession. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, those boys really had him full, right? He just didn't see it coming. Oh, you know, maybe the signs were there, but uh, he needed to listen more. Oh, look, uh, Rock and Woods are looking for you. They say it's your shout to celebrate finding your sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, nah, look, not, 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 not tonight. You know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to go home and eat ice cream with Victoria, be a big sister. Yeah, yeah. OK, I'll tell them. They can take her own check. Yeah, OK. I'll see you. Yeah. Thanks. Come in. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Ali. But you were right about your son. Tony was a good boy. Do you mind if I come in? I'm very, very sorry. He was a good boy. 